Today on Running to Him. Because of who we are, we are to sincerely love our brethren. Today we will read 1 Peter chapter 1 and concentrate on verses 22 through 25. 1 Peter 1, 22 through 25 says, Since you have in obedience to the truth purified your souls for a sincere love of the brethren, fervently love one another from the heart, for you have been born again, not of seed which is perishable, but imperishable, that is, through the living and enduring word of God. For all flesh is like grass, and all its glory is like the flower of the grass. The grass withers, and the flower falls off, but the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is the word which was preached to you. Now today, we end chapter 1 of First Peter. Tomorrow we'll move back to Deuteronomy. I pray that the time in this first chapter has been a rewarding and new look into what Peter wants us to know about our relationship with God through Christ. Peter begins verse 22 with the conclusion, It could be translated, Having purified your souls through obedience. The fact is, Peter is helping the readers see that they are changed, that they are no longer the same as they were. They were obedient to the truth, resulting in purified souls. These souls have been purified into sincere, pure, and unhypocritical brotherly love towards others in Christ. Now, the term Peter uses to describe sincere love is an unhypocritical type of brotherly love. This means that we are to be genuine in our brotherly love, not putting on a face for the public and then reverting to something else when no one else is around, but to love our brethren as those for whom Christ died. Now, what does it mean that we are to fervently love the brethren, and why are we encouraged to do that? Peter uses the adverb fervently to describe how we are to love the way God loves us. So in verse 22, he uses two words for love. The first is brotherly love, and the second is God's love. This fervent action means intensely or earnestly loving brethren from the heart. Lenski writes, With such purified souls, Peter tells his readers to love each other from the heart strenuously. From the heart marks the depth, while the adverb fervently marks the intensity, strenuously, as one stretches out and extends his efforts to the limit. Our love for the brethren takes work. We need to make the choice to love, even though some, at times, are unlovable, just as we are at times. Love, like happiness, is a choice we make in our lives. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.